Hi students, welcome to HSC Chemistry and the Industrial Chemistry Option. This is the second last video, so you've almost got there, the penultimate one. Um, still looking at the Solvay process, and this time a quantitative analysis. Now that means we've got to make sure that we bring all of what we know about the mole concept, writing chemical uh, reactions, and use that to solve problems as part of the Solvay process. So. Um, I'm going to walk you through a, probably a long example with all of the key elements in it, um, but hopefully at the end of that, maybe a little bit longer video than usual, but at least you'll have all of the key things that you need to do as part of the Solvay process. So let's get into it. So let's say we're going to start with 100 moles of calcium carbonate. So we know that calcium carbonate comes from our limestone, um, so we can do a gravitational analysis of this sort of thing, but um, but we've got to start somewhere, so let's just play with some numbers. And the process is always going to be the same, even if the numbers change. So, just some glasses so we can see what we're doing. We're going to start with um, converting the 100 moles um, of calcium carbonate into a mass. We need to do the calculation of the mass first. So, to do that, we need to get our periodic table out and find that calcium um, has a mass of 40.08 uh, carbon is 12.01 and oxygen is 16 and I always check those and because we have three of those we need to multiply that by three so we've got a total of 40.08 plus 12.01 plus 48 and that's uh, a total of 100.09 grams per mole so that is the molar mass for the calcium carbonate now, if we've got 100 moles of that, then we know that our mass is equal to a number of moles multiplied by our molar mass, which is just um, 100 multiplied by 100.09. Uh, and that is 10,009 grams of CaCO3, okay? 10,009 grams of calcium carbonate. So let's keep that and let's keep moving. Write the equation for the decomposition of calcium carbonate to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So of course, we're going to have to make sure that we write our equations if we're going to do these calculations. Make sure you include the subscripts uh, calcium carbonate to calcium oxide, which is also a solid, and carbon dioxide, which is a gas. Nice one, this one, because it's already balanced. I've taken one oxygen, leave me with CO2, so this is already balanced. So that's a nice, easy one for us. Calculate the mass of each product of the decomposition reaction calculated above. So we'll just rewrite that here in order to um, do that. Now you remember, we're calculating the mass of each product. We start with our mole ratio here of 1 to 1 to 1, which is nice and easy. Number of moles, mass, molar mass. Our number of moles um, was 100. You remember from the previous uh, question. The um, calcium oxide, therefore, 1 to 1 ratio, and the carbon dioxide are all going to be 100s. If it's the mass of each product, then we need the molar masses. We already know this one, so we're good. Calcium oxide is going to be 40.08 plus 16. So we've got um, 56. Um, so a total for the molar mass of 56.08, and we're multiplying that by 100. So that's going to be 5608 grams. And for the carbon dioxide, we've got 12.01 plus uh, 16 plus 16. Okay, 32, 44.01. So that's going to be 4401 grams. Okay, so there's your, um, there's your calculations for the mass of each of the products. Okay. Next one, from one mole of sodium chloride in brine, how many moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride can be produced? So this is our big equation. Um, so we've got uh, our brine. Include the water. 
because we know it's going to be involved. We've got ammonia coming in here in solution, and we've also got carbon dioxide, which is also going to be um, bubbled through into the solution. And we're going to get um, ammonium chloride in solution and sodium hydrogen carbonate also in solution. Now, the nice thing about this again is it's all balanced and we have a one to one to one to one ratio all the way along. So if we have one mole of sodium chloride, so here is our one mole of sodium chloride, then because of the mole ratio, the number of moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride produced are also one. The ratio is one to one. So there is one mole of this and one mole of this. Calculate the mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate produced from the reaction from D. So we had one mole, N equals one. We need the molar mass of um, sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is going to be, grab the periodic table, sodium is 22.99, uh, hydrogen is 1.008, uh, carbon 12.01 and oxygen is again 16 and we've got three of those so I'll leave them here sitting on the other side so you can see what I've done uh, 48 I'll add all of those together um, once I get my calculator sorted out we have um, 22.99 1.008 12.01 and 48. So 84.008 grams. And because the mass is equal to the number of moles times the molar mass, our number of moles is 1. So 84.008 is exactly what that is 84.008 grams. How many moles of sodium? Carbonate are produced per mole of sodium hydrogen carbonate during decomposition. So now we have sodium hydrogen carbonate, okay, solid, which we're going to decompose into sodium carbonate, NA2CO3, solid, um, and water, liquid. Um, the carbon dioxide will also uh, be released in this process and it will bubble away. Um, but we will need to balance two here, CO2, two here, three and three, and I think we're right now. Two of those, um, one, two carbons, two hydrogens, we're good. Okay, so per mole of sodium carbonate so we want our mole ratio this time is two to one to one to one so per mole of sodium hydrogen carbonate um, is going to be one half okay so if the ratio here is two to one then each mole of this is only going to produce so the number of moles of one is going to be one half one half and one half so that's our uh, mole ratio for sodium hydrogen carbonate during decomposition Assume and carry through what mass of sodium carbonate do we have now? So we said we had a number of moles of 0.5 or a half moles. Um, our molar mass, again, we need for sodium carbonate, Na2CO3. So once again, we're going to have Na22.99 times 2. Uh, carbon is 12.01 and oxygen is 16. And we need 3. So back to the calculator again and uh, I know this takes a little bit more time in real time if you're going to do these calculations um, but uh, 45.98 12.01 and 48 here is giving us plus 12.01 uh, plus 48 easy to make mistakes uh, with these questions. Uh, in fact, if you've noticed any on the way through, you need to make sure that you point them out to me so we can all, um, we can all correct those. So um, this is our molar mass and our mass, as we said before, is the number of moles times the molar mass, which in this case is 0 0.5 times 105.99. Okay, 
uh, times 0.5 equals 52.995 grams. Okay, so there's our carry through for our sodium carbonate. And then our final one, an ammonia recovery process, NH4Cl reacts with um, calcium hydroxide to produce ammonium, calcium chloride, and water. Calculate the mass of ammonia recovered and the mass of the water product. So in the ammonia recovery process, we have NH4Cl um, reacting with calcium, carbonate, uh, calcium hydroxide to produce ammonia and calcium chloride and water. And I can see that this video has gone on for a long time now, so I'll just try and wrap things up fairly quickly. Um, so if again, uh, when we had our carry through, we had one mole of this, so our mole ratios, we just make sure that everything's balanced, uh, which it isn't at the moment, two, uh, one, two, some chloride, so we need two of these, um, and we need two of these, and two of these, and now we're good. Okay, so here my ratios are two to one to two to one to two. We're interested in the mass of ammonia and the water. So the number of moles we said before that we produced one mole. If you look back through the uh, video, uh, so therefore we're only going to have 0 0.5 moles. Oh, sorry, we're going to have yep zero. No, we're not. We're going to have one mole of that, and we're going to have uh, of the water. We're going to have one mole of that as well. All right, so again, now we're going for mass, so we need molar masses. For ammonia, it's going to be 14.01 um, for the uh, plus uh, 1.008 times 3. And for the water, it's going to be 1.008 times 2 plus 16. So this is going to be 18.016 um, grams multiplied by 2. And this one is going to be 17.24 uh, um, uh, grams, also times 2. So in the end, we're going to have a, a mass of ammonia of 34.068 grams. And for water, we're going to have um, 36 uh, 0.032 grams. So we got there in the end. Thanks for watching.